Hello guys and welcome to another Minecraft mod review. Today's mod is the Miner's Dream. Now this is a part of a bigger mod called the Ore Spawn mod, but I'm not going to be reviewing every little item in the Ore Spawn. I'm just going to be showing you guys this one item called the Miner's Dream. Now to craft this, you need to right click on your table after installing the mod and just place gunpowder at the bottom here, place cacti at the top, and place redstone blocks at the center, and you will get the Miner's Dream. Now once you have the Miner's Dream, all you have to do is just right click on the ground to use it. Now one thing to mention is that if you're on survival mode, normal game mode zero, you can only use this once, so it's very costly, but it's very cool. Now, if you're on creative mode like I'm going to be on and be showing you guys on creative mode, you could use this unlimitedly and it's very fun to use. All you have to do is just go, uh, like I said, click on the ground, but we need to find a nice little cave here. Well, not a cave, but a nice little spot at the ground where there's like a wall in front of us. Or you can dig down. Let's just dig down and just create a nice little wall in front of us. Now all you have to do is just, you can either right click on here on this block or you could do it on the ground, but I like to do it on the ground because it actually takes this block off, because if you just do it on a wall like so, you won't see anything happen, but if you knock off these blocks, you'll see that it creates a nice mining shaft. But as you can see, it leaves all the ores exposed for you to mine, also eliminates lava and water, so it's very useful for mining underground, deep underground where there's a lot of lava around, as well as if you're on an island and there's a lot of caves around, you can just use it to mine. But um, like I said, very costly, but it's very cool. You could do it um, really if you have a lot, you could do it unlimitedly. And um, let's see, I did one here, I believe. There you go. This creates a long, long shaft going. Actually, what's very cool about this is that if you pass over water, it actually creates a little, um, like a little cave or I don't want to call it, but um, a little tunnel. A little tunnel going to the other side and all the water just gets eliminated. So you can just travel using this as well if you're in creative mode. So anyways guys, if you enjoyed, take one second to drop a like, and if you're new to my channel, remember to take one second to hit that subscribe button to see more videos from me. This is Team Twist, and I'll see you later.